All right, this video is going to look at application problems for quadratic equations. And let's go ahead and look at this business example. So we have a cost function, C equals 60X plus 300. And then we have a revenue function, R equals 100X minus um, 0.5X squared. And recall that profit is going to be your revenue minus your cost. We want to set up this quadratic equation um, that's going to produce two values that would create a profit of 300. Well, let's go ahead and make our profit equation first. We know that that's revenue minus cost. And so that's going to be 100 x minus 0.5x squared minus my cost equation. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative and get 100x minus 0.5x squared minus 60x minus 300. And I'm going to write this in standard form while also combining like terms. So I'm going to put my x squared first. I have common terms here, so plus 40x and minus 300. And I want to know when is this profit equation equal to 300. But I can only solve a quadratic equation if this is equal to zero. So let's go ahead and subtract that 300 to the left hand side. I'm going to factor out a common factor of negative one half from each and every one of these terms. If I do that, I get negative one half x squared minus 80x plus 1200 equals zero. And I chose to do that because then I have an a equals one type of equation. So I need to figure out two numbers that multiply to 1200 and add to negative 80. After a lot of guess and check, what that's going to be is negative 20 and negative 60. That means I'm not going to worry about that negative one half. I'm just going to place it to the front. My two factors are x minus 20 and x minus 60. And so this quadratic equals 0. at 20 and 60, or to put this back in context, it's going to be equal to 300 for a profit overall at these two production levels. All right, let's look at a different problem. This one is about blood pressure. So a formula for the blood pressure of a man at this any age is given by our formula right here. Find the age to the nearest year of a man whose blood pressure measures 125. So I'm going to, again, set this up. And set it equal to 125. If the A's really bother you, then you can always just convert this back to x squared and x. Maybe add the zeros there so you see those are decimals. Uh, and then again, I need this to be equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 125 and get negative 5. Unlike the first problem, I really don't want to work with factoring out this part here because it ends up being really really yucky remember when we were talking about
linear equations with fractions that we said sometimes it's easiest to just multiply through by the denominator and get rid of the fact that these are fractions. So if I multiply through by 1,000, I get 6x squared minus 20x minus 5,000. I can now search for two numbers that multiply to, what is 6 times 5,000? 30,000, negative 30,000, and add to negative 20. However, if I try to do that, I kind of spend some time trying to figure those out. So instead, I think I want to use the quadratic formula. All right, 20 squared gives me 400. 4 times 6 times 5,000 gives me 120,000 all over 12. Now when I try to take the square root of that inside piece, I see that I don't have a perfect square. I get x equals 20 plus or minus the square root of 1, 20, 120,400 over 12. When I take the square root of this piece right here, I end up getting 346 or three, about 347. Now, when I'm looking at the age, 20 minus that number is going to give me an X value that's less than zero. I'm not going to really worry about that because I'm looking at age, but 20 plus that and then divided by 12 gives me that X is about 59.5 or about 60 years old. Now, obviously, um, I needed to use a calculator for a lot of these calculations. This was a much higher level problem with really big numbers, um, but you can use quadratic equations to solve these types of problems and use the quadratic formula in these applied problems as well.